So welcome to day 17 of our countdown to Christmas. My name is Ryan Smith and today's verse comes from Luke 2 verses 1 and 5, 1 through 5. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. At first, this came to me as a, one of those scriptures that's very geological, historical recounts, and could, could have been breezed over without a real solid foundation of a message this holiday season. But the more time that I spent um, meditating on this verse, I understood that there is a fantastic message this holiday season to you. And the word is registered. Now I know what you're thinking. Joy, Mary, Noel, registered, right? And what it does is it gives God the ability to show you his sovereignty. In this call for a census, if Caesar doesn't call for a census, then Joseph doesn't have to go to Bethlehem. And because Mary's pregnant with Jesus, then the prophecy of our Savior being born in the line of David in the city of Bethlehem doesn't come true. God took the human requirement of registration to exercise his supreme authority. The other uh, message that I got around the word registered is it shows up four times in five lines, and which to me stood out as significant. There must be a reason that the word registered is there so often. And so I looked up the definition of registered. It is to be entered or recorded on an official list or directory. So my question for you this morning is, are you on the list? Have you accepted the gift of God's salvation and in so put your name within the directory of the book of life? If you have, I urge you this morning to take a moment and to praise God and thank Him for always being in control of everything that's going on in your life, even the difficult times. If you have not, I encourage you to take a few moments today, give your life over to Jesus, and accept His invitation to salvation. Merry Christmas. God bless.